Uh, the main types of contamination in soil culture that we're going to be concerned with are microbial, which includes bacteria, mycoplasm, and mycoplasm, uh, fungus, and virus. Bacterial and fungal contamination are the most commonly uh, seen problem in labs. They can occur quickly, but fortunately are also easily detected. Turbid and acidic media usually indicate the presence of bacteria. Cell stress from microbial contamination may also lead to morphological changes. Fungal contamination is seen by the appearance of obvious filamentous structures in the media. So at least one thing about this kind of microbial contamination is that it's easily detectable. Mycoplasma and cellular cross-contamination, however, discussed a little bit later, is not going to be as easy to detect. Mycoplasma contamination is uh, the separate issue we're talking about that is very hard to detect in media. Contamination from mycoplasma can cause a host of problems that include altering the cell's function, growth and morphology, causing chromosomal aberrations, affect nucleic acid synthesis, and changes in membrane, antigens, and gene expression. The main source of mycoplasma contamination is receiving infected cultures from other research laboratories or subculture media or reagents that are uh, commercially available.